Hello friend, I am Swamadi back with new tutorial video regarding soil mechanics. So last video I talked about the pile load, load test. So actual this is the pile foundation series. So where I discussed total five video till now, where I talked about the pile load test, static formula, dynamic formula, pile driving. So today I am planning to share a new topic that is our group pile concept so in case you missed the last video so go to the channel and click here otherwise go to the playlist and just check out without further delay let's get started well so that is our topic if you want this note as pdf so in description you find a whatsapp number message on this number with a screenshot that you subscribe this channel and you mention the video name which note you need according to this we'll send you the note as soon as possible and this is completely free so yeah that is our topic group action pile so what we learn from this topic how to find the apcnc how to find or how to design group pile from this section you will find the question in your semester in any conventional exam okay so let's get started so well, what is the efficiency of the pile group when several closely spaced pile are grouped कि बोल चाहे सिवरल क्लोजली स्पेस्ड माने धरो लाइक दिस 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 हियर फोर पाइल्स आर क्लोजली स्पेस्ड सो दे आर स्टॉम्ड एस व्हाट ग्रुप ओके इट इज रीजनेबल टू एक्सपेक्ट द सोइल्स प्रेशर डेवलप्ड द सोइल एस रेजिस्टेंट विद ओवर द बियरिंग अ पाइल ग्रुप मे और मे नॉट बी इक्वल टू सम ऑफ द बियरिंग कैपेसिटी so the theory and test have shown the total bearing a group of friction piles particularly in clay so when we design the this group pile so there is one part normal load and there is frictional resistance okay so how we find the how we find the efficiency the method estimating the bearing capacity group by is multiplying the quantity n q u p by reduction factor called efficiency of group by q u g that is the load carried by the group friction pile that is the ultimate q u p load carried by each friction pile n is the number of the piles and n g is the efficiency of the pile that that means say here is 9 pi so n equal to 9 one pi is ultimate load carrying capacity q u p for total it is q u g so tentatively that q u g that is equal to n that is n and 9 q u p that is the one pile and this is the efficiency so this is why this is how we find the pile efficiency but there are some formula there is one converse lavdi formula sometimes they ask but in my past i can face too much with this so you can just go through it this is another two formula yeah that is the main thing the design the pile group see say if one pile is this and add that and this same pile the group of four be placed in this way so 
So what is the QUG? QUG that means this pi. So I if I go to the 3D version, animation is not available right now, but if anyone who knows the animation, please contact me. this is the chunk of the four so one load acting on this cross section that means that means stress into this area if is rectangle a square if uh, sorry if square is square if rectangle b into d if circle pi pi by 4 d square okay what they say cross section area of the pi group b square very simple that is a into rp rp is shear strength of soil that is a c sometimes q by 2 for k soil okay now another p into l into rf what is to this now p is the perimeter perimeter means friction act in there so this perimeter area wise the friction work so the, what is the perimeter? A perimeter equal to I write it perimeter equal to 2 into B plus D. Perimeter area into L. So that is the area. If circle, then what happened? What is the uh, circumference? 2 pi r into L square 4 into B or 4 into L into L in this way so that is the perimeter that is and RF what is the RF again RF your shear strength actual thing is that this portion is we add here the frictional resistance that is why you have it alpha is come in the place this RF and R P RF is your frictional resistance that means shear and RP is the normal load acting there and after this what you did do you know the Q group you know the one so you find the efficiency okay the ultimate load QU, the pi group will be equal to this other than QUG, QU. Determined of the particular load will equal to QU by F. F means the factor of safety. So, after this you find and then you have to find the settlement. That is the, I discussed already in my previous. So, yeah, this is the very basic knowledgeable topic, knowledgeable video regarding group pile how to where i discussed how to find out the efficiency and how to design the group pile okay so hope you enjoyed this video if you have any kind of doubt do comment in the comment section definitely i will get back to you and if you think you have learned something new from this video so definitely like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for getting more of this type of content and proper and press the bell icon for never miss an update Okay, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. All the best.